Hi, in this video I'm trying to answer how to become a Python developer. Actually I got many requests to answer this question and um, to be honest this is not easy at all. Actually I, I have tried many times to uh, answer this question and when I start this, this, this discussion actually I, I might take a few hours trying to answer this question so um, this video is only a try uh, another try uh, to uh, to answer this question so um, when I try to summarize the answer uh, in this presentation and in this video I had uh, got some answers okay uh, sorry I'm, I got some questions to be answered why become a Python developer actually you need to know why you are going in this way you have Java C C++ you have many other uh, development or programming languages so why you choose Python this is one of the key questions our key answer to uh, you know to set your goal who is Python developer this is another hard question to be answered but you need actually to um, understand who is Python developer who is the person you are uh, going to become okay how to become a Python developer this is the last question to be answered is actually about what skills you need to master to be a Python developer. So let's start with the first question why become a Python developer? Because Python is really easy to learn with really simple syntax for writing. You can you can write you know a, a many many uh, lines in other languages like Java and C, C and C++ to uh, to do a task or to, to do a job actually in Python you ha you you just need a few lines and uh, this is not uh, you know it's not uh, something to to mention here because Python is really easy to be uh, written and to be actually to be read later on so Python is the most popular programming language in uh, 2019 this is another fact Python is very popular and you know it's also the most demanded program programming skill in, in 2019 because there are a lot of many a lot of uh, applications around the world that use Python to build their uh, applications like uh, Instagram for example uh, you have also YouTube and Facebook they are using Python one of the best things about Python is that is a general purpose language there are many fields that use uh, Python to implement their businesses okay so another thing about Python that actually you will need as a beginner um, even if you are an expert actually you still need this uh, thing is the huge community that will support you in many stages in your lifetime as a Python developer they will support you by answering your question by uh, offering uh, training by uh, also delivering many references like books and and tutorials around uh, and also you have this uh, official uh, documentation this is really great actually it's really awesome so let's move to the next question who is the Python developer actually you need to set your goal you need to um, know actually which one of these roles you want to play so when I tried to answer this question actually I, I, I wasn't able to find um, a certain answer I wasn't able to have an accurate one um, so I, I used this words a superman with development skills who can fit with any rule actually you can do data scientist web developer you can be a, dev a web developer desktop application developer machine learning engineer artificial intelligence uh, engineer and script writer to automate procedure and daily tasks actually what all of these points actually uh, is let's say a separate course to be explained so let, let's summarize things about data science let's let assume that you have a lot of data let's say a big database a huge database uh, that have contained data but it's not understood actually it needs to be analyzed it needs to be you know um, you know to, to extract uh, reports and so on so that science scientist uh, will take care about this web developer any application you are using in the browser any thing any any website actually to be uh, to be accurate any website you are using in your browser is a web application that was written by a developer so web developer also will be the guy who is responsible about writing web 
web application uh, that can be used in web browser and accessible around the wallet desktop application developer um, well the, the good uh, example for this is notepad and windows or any text ed editor and Linux if you are using a Linux so this desktop application developer will will develop applications that does not actually need to connect to uh, internet this uh, this is an exception actually because it might be an um, a desktop application that needs a connection with internet like mail client thunderbird for example okay um, or outlook so these are desktop applications that might need uh, a, a, an internet connection but still a desktop application okay where you have everything in your machine like the logic and everything machine learning and artificial intelligence it's about learning the machine uh, to to make decisions of, um, of course based on some data that will be uh, uh, implemented like our handled actually um, like the self-driving cars you have these cars in the streets this will be the future of uh, cars so these cars will be self-driven cars so how will this happen actually when the car is moving it will get data from sensors in the car and will make decisions this is about machine learning and artificial intelligence of course this is not an accurate uh, example but uh, again I, as I mentioned each point of these points uh, really um, a separate course and it need, you need to be an expert in, uh, in one of these okay script writer you need to be you can you can be a script writer who can automate procedures and daily tasks like checking the email like uh, you know checking the log on on a server to check if, the, if your application on a remote server is running as you expect or not okay so the next slide how to become a python developer this is about the skills you need to master okay or the skills you you need to have okay you might need actually so we have two uh, classifications here we have a must skills to be learned and also we have a nice to have skills okay so here you need for the, for the first slide we have uh, you know and our try to answer how to become uh, a Python developer is to learn the core of Python okay and this actually we have many points here if you have any tutorial for beginners you will know that you need to get comfortable with syntax and and know how to write uh, code in, in, in python it's like any uh, other programming language or let's say even in, in languages like english uh, for example you have these um, uh, you know these rules to write a syntax a sentence or a statement okay loops if you have a list as we have in uh, right now we have these points so, and you need to loop on these uh, on these uh, points to find something or to, to do some procedure let's say you have a file that you need uh, to read it line by line to find um, some some words or so on or take uh, some decisions make some decisions so loops will take care about this by looping or moving one by one one item by one item to find what you need okay conditional and the control statements is about making let's say it's not making really make decision because we have artificial intelligence but let's say that it's a just f condition if you find something if condition is is true do something else do something else so this is about conditional and control statements we have also variables and data types you have many data types like boolean integer and strings and so on the time one of these data types you need to understand these data types um, as a beginner of course modules and file handling um, if you have a python file with an extension .py this is a module if you have a folder with dunder in it which is underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py if you have this folder with this file uh, inside so this is a module also file handling is about reading the files you have a text file on your machine on your hard drive maybe on a remote server it's okay to you, you need to access this and read write and do things with this file exception handling 
if you have an error while in, in the runtime you have a program that's running have some errors you need to have or catch these errors and show uh, or let's say handle this and and know how how to do handle this so exception handling is really important python libraries one of the best things about python is that it's battery included what 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 does it mean batteries included when you install python you have some libraries and modules that will came by default or be included by default with python environment like let's say a uh, date time library this will enable you to um, let's say you have some date for example and you want to add some days you can subtract i mean to move uh, in the last week so you can subtract seven days you can also move in the future for the next week which is plus seven days and so on you also have the, the time zones um, the time zone in in, um, in germany it's not the same as it's not as the same as japan for example it's not like usa and so on so python libraries will include that time as an example of course there are a lot of other libraries so uh, python uh, will come with many libraries that will facilitate make it easier for you to handle uh, you know these common tasks operators operators is something another th uh, thing that will help you to um, you know to build your application um, we, we can just mention two examples here like uh, arithmetic op op operators plus minus and, and, and so on um, you can also have comparison operators like uh, greater than less than or equal these are also a comparison uh, operators that can you can be used in your application version control get okay if you do not know get get is is about you know getting a detailed log about everything um, or every update you have in your code so if you have a team you will know who did this change why and when he did this change so get is really important it's, it's not easy to explain everything about get here but you need to to do some search and of course i will uh, of, uh, add more videos about you know each one of uh, all of these points later on so let's move to the next slide object oriented programming and still we are in the must list to be uh, skills to be mastered okay you have many concepts to be understood like classes objects methods inheritance encapsulation and polymorphism i will prepare some videos on on these uh, concepts so i i would like to just invite you to do some search about these uh, classes for now until i i get ready with other videos so this is the list of nice to have skills like front end skills okay you don't have to worry a lot about the front end actually because you uh, it should be there should be another developer who is uh, front end skills uh, with title front end developer but let's say that you need to have the basic skills like um, basic javascript basic bootstrap basic css these skills will enable you to communicate um, smoothly with the front end developer the same here for database knowledge you do not have to worry a lot about the advanced or more about the database advanced uh, features actually you need to worry about the basics so that you can um, you know uh, communicate smoothly with the database administrator you you, you I, I expect to have this guy in your team who will take care about the database and make sure that everything is, is right in the database also system administration mainly when 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 we say system administration actually we are um, targeting Linux administrators okay so there should be another guy with title system administrator or Linux administrator this guy will take care about the servers but again you still need to take care about your local machine you need to sometimes to report uh, an issue with the server in this case you need to have the basics in your mind when you when you communicate with him you need to, to tell him actually what I, what you have found so that he make his task easier and of course when he gets a response or, or get a result he needs to report it to you 
so you need to understand what he will say to you rest of all apis i'm sorry i, I skipped python scripts writing as i mentioned that writing scripts and python this is one of the powerful things you need to learn as i mentioned you might have some daily tasks you need to automate to save your time and you know and and uh, have a higher priority uh, sorry productivity higher productivity in your day so python scripts writing is really important restful apis development apis is let's summarize it in a few words it's about how to um, integrate your application with other application let's say you have a, this a great application this awesome application that do everything in the world but still there is another application that um, do something better than you okay or maybe do something that is missing in your application so in this case you need to uh, communicate with the other application um, you know send it send some tasks to this the other application and get the result from there send a request get a response and so on and vice versa okay I mean in the other direction the other application my may miss uh, some features that you are working on already and he needs your help so the other application will send you a request so that you can implement some some tasks on your uh, on your application and of course send back a response to the other application so this really important understand multi-process architecture by understanding this this you will be able to let's say uh, improve your application performance because you will be able to use um, the highest capabilities you have in your local machine and of course in the server if you have this web application uh, that will be shared with other people so multi-process will enable you to handle many processes in the same time in parallel in the same time this will save a lot of time which means faster uh, implementation so i just tried to answer the question it's not easy to answer all the question to make an accurate one it's really really hard so i just wanted to make an introduction trying to answer the question hopefully i did this in the right way Please do not forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and wait for me and some other videos soon. Thank you.